Hello again, I am Mark, and this is Herdsman Foods. Welcome to the channel today. Thank you for joining me, uh, one and all. I just uh, really appreciate it when we get together at this time and uh, uh, get to share a little time together. I love the fact that uh, you guys are engaging with me on the channel, and I uh, can't thank you enough for subscribing and clicking that bell and sharing on social media. So today, um, I, I had quite a trek as far as what I was going to do. I initially went to Big Mac or to <laughs> to Big Mac to McDonald's to get a variation on a Big Mac, and they couldn't do it. And so it, it's something that I've seen uh, a channel in the UK do, and I wanted to try it. But I'm gonna I'm not gonna tell you any more about that because I'm gonna get it done. I just have to find the McDonald's that will do it for me. Um, and then <laughs> I went over to Taco Bell and I got in line at Taco Bell and I was like, you know what? You know, I just have bad luck at Taco Bell. The last video I did, it was okay, um, but it wasn't it wasn't great. And then I thought, you know what, Burger King. You know, we've got those sandwiches, those um, those offensive sandwiches, the chicken sandwich that they call Mexican, Italian, and classic American. Um, so I wanted to give that a try. So I'm back at Burger King, and I am trying today the classic Italian. All right, this is that classic Italian chicken sandwich. Let's take a look at her here. And it's Italian because it has marinara sauce and it has mozzarella cheese on it, as you can see. And let's look at the old cheese stretch here that they show you. Look at the smoke or the uh, steam. There's the cheese stretch they show you in the commercials. Look at that stretch, yeah, no stretch. Marinara sauce, mozzarella, and of course, the sandwich. You can see that it is fresh. I just got it. and. Uh, um, it is uh, a little uh, marinara-y, so I'm going to wipe the old hands off here. It is a bit, it, it feels like it was maybe steamed just before they kept put it in the bag. It feels a bit spongy on the top and the bottom. Let's give this a try. Mm-hmm. Okay, bite one, <clears throat> initial flavors, uh, intensity of the tanginess, tanginess of the, of the uh, uh, marinara sauce. Um, unlike a lot of the burgers at uh, Burger King, this is not over marinara-ized. Um, how you know that sometimes there's too much mayonnaise or too much ketchup or mustard or something. This is not overly marinara-ized. Um, it doesn't take the balance off of it there. So let's go for bite two. But it is the the uh, tanginess of the marinara that you get most mostly. Okay, so bite two. What are all the flavors I'm getting? Getting the marinara sauce. It's a bit too tangy. Um, if I'd have to say it almost tastes a little sour, not in a bad way necessarily, but definitely that tanginess that you get with the sweeter um, tomato-based sauces. Uh, it's it's a bit on the sour side. I think you'll understand what I mean by that. Um, <clears throat> the flavors you get, the chicken is overwhelmed by the marinara. Um, it's not a great chicken, you know, sandwich. It's, you know, as far as the, the meat goes, this is a processed piece of, of chicken. It's not a chicken breast. It's not a chicken thigh that they've filleted. It's just, you know, a processed piece uh, that, they, that they've formed together. Um, that is all that I get. I mean, I, I get the marinara. The mozzarella doesn't come through at all. So let's give this one last try. Bite number three. Two 
two slices of uh, mozzarella. I thought you would you would be able to get a flavor of the mozzarella, get a flavor of that cheese a little bit. You don't. Uh, you don't at all. This, you know, it, it's uh, four dollars and seventy nine cents uh, for this sandwich. Value wise, size wise, yeah, it's it's a decent sandwich for five dollars. Size wise, flavor wise, this is just unexciting. Um, there is nothing that I would, you know, that, that would jump out of me, uh, at me <laughs> jump out of me. This may be jumping out of me shortly, but there's nothing that jumps out at me on this sandwich. Is it balanced? Well, I mean, yeah, it's balanced because it's so bland. There's, there's just nothing to it. Um, I, I think what you're missing here with the Italian one is this right here. They make it look like a piece of French bread. It's not a piece, it's just a regular bun that they've designed to look like French bread. If you put that on a, a slightly harder, crustier roll, that would be great. I think that would add a lot to the sandwich. The way it is now, it's just boring and bland. I mean, there, there's just, there's nothing there. There's a lot of other sandwiches that are not quite as boring and bland that I could get for $4.79. This is not one that I will do again. So... Well, there we go. I mean, um, you know, Burger King, it, I, I swear, Burger King, McDonald's, all the fast food places are just getting into this, into this mode of wanting to appeal to everyone. And, you know, that is a, a, a such a sales-oriented uh, uh, way to look at things, you know? Um, just, you know, sell, sell stuff, sell stuff, sell stuff, just, you know, randomly throwing out food that, that, uh, they hope that somebody will like at some point. I just wish they'd, they'd get back to the basics. I wish they'd get back to the, the, what made their burgers good, right? What made McDonald's good for people? Um, you know, I, I'm a fan of McDonald's. I'm a fan of Burger King, but for me, Burger King, what made Burger King good was that they were different. They were flame broiled. I just, I just wish they'd get back to, you know, really focusing on that and, and really producing some good sandwiches based on what got them there in the first place. Anyway, that's my two cents today. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. I really like to hear what you have to say. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and click that bell so you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you have a great weekend. And until next time, don't be afraid to join the herd.